today we'll be doing upper body resistance class. I have here a plate, a pair of dumbbells and a kettlebell, but if you just have a pair of dumbbells, you'll be fine as well. So the first exercise is a halo. We'll do eight repetitions one way and then eight the other way. So this is to walk our upper back and shoulders. Great for reinforcing good posture. So forget, don't forget about your breathing. Drop the plate as far as you can backwards. Feel a bit of a stretch and finish the full circle. I think we have a couple more left. You'll be aiming for eight to 10. And stop and the other way. Try to push your shoulders down. So then don't rise up towards your ears. Just a few more. last one and back to the center next exercise is the flies so feet slightly wider than your hips soft elbows arms in front of you or your, on your shoulder level and we start in the flies again around 10 three four five six seven eight, nine, and 10. Lovely. We'll do a front raise now. My favorite one is one up, one down. So we'll do 10 changeovers. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, catch your breath, shake, and ten more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely. Next one will be lateral raise. If you have somewhere to hold on to, we can do isolated uh, lateral raises. So hold on, let's say to the door frame, pull away slightly and start lifting. There we go, this way, two, three, and this way, you're isolating on your shoulder. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Over to the other side. Again, rip the door frame. Feet slightly closer to the door frame. Pull away and lift. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now you get your break for a couple of minutes. And we'll do that set again and move over to the second part of the exercise of the class. So now we're going back to halos. If you need more break, like I said, a couple of minutes, just pause the video. And we start. Elbows close, drop, and circle. Two, three. Don't forget to engage your core. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we'll go over to the other side. You should start 
to feel also your obliques working, not only your upper back. Three, four, five, six, seven, and last three, two, and one, over to the flies, soft knees, again slightly outside your uh, hips, arms in front, slightly bent elbows, ever so slightly, and 10 flies, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, halfway through, 4, 3, 2, and one over to the front raise so 10 changeovers a small break and 10 changeovers as well so that's one changeover two three four five six seven eight nine 10, shake your shoulders and 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and last one. So you're aiming for your arm to come up to your ear, shoulder blades together stomach engaged last one of the of the set lateral raise again hold on to a door frame if you don't have a door frame you can just do a simple um, lateral raise but if you have someone to hold on to grab on go out to the side slightly and lift 10 times 10 9 eight seven six five four three two and one and the other side one grab and raise one two squeeze your glutes engage your core Seven, eight, nine, ten, and the break. Again, allocate about two minutes uh, for your rest. I'll be pressing on, so just stop the video and when you're ready, pick up again. So, we again with the dumbbells, we'll do a shoulder press. So feet firmly on the floor, find your middle balance so you're not on your toes or you're not leaning back. Engage your glutes, engage your core and shoulder press. 10 as well, so elbows all the way down, then press towards your ears. Three, four, five dumbbells meet, six, seven, eight, nine and ten dumbbells down and we are moving on to reverse curl so elbows in it's a very good exercise to work your forearms uh, which are often neglected so elbows in elbows do not raise do not move and you just lift your forearms and squeeze and two Keep on reminding yourself to engage your core, shoulder blades down. I think that's about six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely. The next exercise is forward arm extension and then we squeeze in and work in our lats as well. 
dumbbells again. So push forward on your shoulder level and drive your elbows back, forward and back. I can feel my core working as well, not only shoulders and biceps and forearms. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Well done. And last one will be a front row. I'll use my kettlebell for this, but you're more than welcome to carry on with the dumbbells. So again, shoulders down and front raise. Two, three, four, five, drive your elbows up. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lovely. Again, we aim in here for two minutes break. I might just carry on. So again, pause the video if needed. We're going back to our shoulder press. So dumbbells again, for this elbows all the way down and up. Dumbbells meet at the top. And I think five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Now our reverse curl. Elbows in, open up. You might feel a slight stretch in your chest as well. Three, don't forget about regular breathing. Don't hold on to your breath. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely, and now forward arm extension. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. And over to the front row. So four exercises in a quick succession, almost no break at all between them, and then two minutes rest. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Lovely. So this is our upper body resistance session for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, now you can enjoy even more your rest. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.